Meet Norway in the world's first ever cruise ship tunnel. It's mind blowing. Norway has been on the cutting edge of navigation and seafaring since the time of the Vikings. Time and again, Norwegian ship owners and researchers have challenged the fundamental implementation of maritime technology, making way for creations unseen by the world till then. This time, it's a tunnel. It's not just any tunnel, though. It's being built exclusively for ships. After years of planning, the Norwegian Coastal Administration has confirmed that it has received the green light to start working on the Stad ship tunnel, and it will be one of its kind. Here is what you need to know. The engineering marvel. On completion, this will be a modern engineering marvel, to say the least. Terj Andresen, the current project manager for the tunnel, said based on the allocation letter, we will now start acquiring properties in the area where the ship tunnel will be located, as well as put in place a project organization, prepare a tender basis, and initiate a tender. The project is estimated to take around three to four years for construction with the Norwegian Coastal Administration moving forward with an investment of $325 million from startup funds. The tunnel will allow ships to circumvent a difficult area for navigation along the Norwegian coastline, the Stad Peninsula. For this particular reason, Norwegian shipping interests have been calling for a ship tunnel in the location for several years now. First announced a few years ago by the Norwegian Coastal Administration, this mile-long, 118-foot-wide tunnel will burrow through the mountainous Stadavet Peninsula in northwestern Norway. At the moment, ships navigating the surrounding area of Stadavet are often impacted by rough tides and bad weather. Sometimes, ships have to wait for days in the nearest harbor for weather conditions to improve. But inside the tunnel, weather and tides shouldn't impact transit. The design, construction, and execution. Renowned Norwegian architecture firm Snohetta designed the tunnel entrance. They also designed walkways and the construction of a new road bridge to give visitors a view of ships entering and exiting the tunnel. According to Snohetta, the design focuses on merging the surrounding natural and cultural landscape with the tunnel's large scale. The terraces are built on stone carved out of the mountain where the tunnel is created. Using wire cutting and blasting, the terraces will have a naturally rough form within the precise geometry of horizontal lines. In addition to creating a link to the area's cultural landscape, the geometry is also highly beneficial for the structural stability of the portal, said Snohetta. Wire cutting and blasting will bring to life the tunnel design created by Oslo-based architectural firm Snohetta. A sloped terrace at each end will allow the tunnel entrances to blend in with the natural landscape, while providing a geometrically and structurally stable shape for the tunnel. Underground drilling rigs and pallet rigs will aid in construction. They estimate that a grand total of around 3 million cubic meters of rock will be removed in the process, as mentioned earlier. Additionally, the tunnel entrances will be fitted with concrete blocks and rubber rudders, created to survive the impact of a 16,000-ton boat moving at five knots or about nine miles an hour. They specifically chose a narrow section of the mountains to make the tunnel as short as possible. The construction plan is for a team of contractors to drill horizontally from both ends until they meet in the middle. Then, they will use explosives to clear the roof section and achieve the height needed. Shotcrete, a type of concrete that is sprayed from a hose, will be used to secure the roof. The project will mirror open mining techniques to achieve the width and shape needed for the tunnel to be sound. Stone blockades will be used to prevent water from entering the tunnel during construction. The Norwegian Coastal Administration notes that while other tunnels can accommodate small boats and barges, no other underpass has been built to serve large ships. The ship tunnel at Stadvet will burrow through the narrowest point of the Stadvet Peninsula, which makes the undertaking more doable as the tunnel won't actually be that long. Entry to the tunnel will be controlled by a traffic light system. The plan is for burrowing to take place via underground drilling rigs and pallet rigs. Building the tunnel will likely involve removing some buildings and roughly 3 million cubic meters of rock. The Norwegian Coastal Administration says the finished structure will be akin to a large and long mountain hall. While the tunnel is likely to attract the attention of infrastructure enthusiasts from across the world, the chief goal of the tunnel is simply to make transiting the Stadavet Sea safe and predictable. At present, it won't be possible to walk through the tunnel on foot. So if you're intrigued, going by boat will be the only option. And it is quite obvious why Norway needs this tunnel. The stretch of water surrounding the peninsula is notorious as one of the most dangerous parts of the entire Norwegian coastline. In early 2019, the Viking Sky lost power and narrowly avoided disaster in the area. 
Also, sometime in 2018, passengers aboard a ship were sent back to their cabins due to the severe rocking motion of the ship while passing through the area. The ocean around the Stad Peninsula is subject to challenging ocean currents. Combined with the underwater topology, this creates complex and unpredictable wave conditions. When the winds are strong, this creates demanding conditions for even the most experienced maritime professionals. High waves can come from different directions and can last for several days after a storm leading to potential problems even on calm days. Benefits of the tunnel. According to the project team, the tunnel will make sea transport safer, more efficient, and more environmentally friendly. The STAD ship tunnel is necessary to achieve the political goal of moving transport from road to sea and will facilitate safe and environmentally friendly sea transport in the coastal and maritime industries in the future, continues the statement. Industries set to benefit include fishing vessels, bilge well vessels, service vessels, container ships, and cruise ships. For commercial shipping, the tunnel will mean safer and quicker deliveries and better quality retention of raw materials. That's because, in bad weather, fishing vessels are unwilling to sail around STAD. This means increased wait time and reduced quality. The world's largest fish farming company, Maui, is among the strongest supporters of the ship tunnel. According to simulations, fuel consumption should be reduced by between 60% for ships around 40 meters and 30% for ships around 140 meters when using the tunnel route. It's also fair to say that the tunnel will become a tourist attraction for the region. Project leaders hope it will become a landmark for Norway's Western Cape in a similar way to the visitor center at the North Cape. As the tunnel will be big enough for the Hurtigruten and Havila coastal ships to sail through, it's easy to see that happening. But the Norwegian Coastal Administration's Einar Vik Arset said the primary goal is to improve safety. We are working to ensure that the Norwegian coast is the safest and cleanest in the whole world. Projects such as the Stad Ship Tunnel are important measures to realize our goals. The Overview The project was first proposed in the late 19th century, but the high cost of blasting through the peninsula's thick rock dissuaded the Norwegian government from pursuing construction. Still, Norwegian regulators have been studying the idea for decades, and now the 160 foot by 120 foot wide by one mile long tunnel design received the green light in 2020. As the world's first ship tunnel built to service both small barges and large ships, the Stad Ship Tunnel represents a shift in the use of tunnels in construction and infrastructure. Norway is already home to over 1,100 tunnels used for roads and railways. Norway is a country made up of many small regions separated by fjords, mountains, and valleys. Tunnels simplified connections between these areas and allowed easy travel both by road and rail. While building a sea tunnel of this size is a brand new type of tunnel, there is no better country to take on this groundbreaking project than Norway. The tunnel will prioritize commercial traffic and should be able to transport up to 100 ships per day. It will operate as a one-way tunnel with directions alternating every hour. Tunnel traffic will be controlled by a light system to monitor and control ship flow. Time slots will be handed out by a vessel control center, which mimics the role of air traffic control at an airport. There are currently no plans to make the tunnel passable on foot, so the only way to experience the tunnel will be by boat. The Stad Ship Tunnel is one of many underground infrastructure projects to be planned and started over the next few years. This rise in tunneling projects is associated with tech advancements in the construction and tunneling industries. New boring machines, stability support systems, and monitoring all make tunneling safer and more efficient. The advancements in tunneling impact everything from roads, railways, and even boats to foundation building and utility and pipe management. Whatever the future holds for underground boring and construction, the Stad Ship Tunnel is sure to amaze contractors and engineers around the world for a long time to come. Do you believe other countries will follow suit and use Norway as a blueprint to construct ship tunnels? Let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the subscribe button below. Also, give us a like, share the video, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our latest uploads. And that's it from us today. Until next time, thank you for watching.